Hello, everybody. This is D with a blank spot or Dorothy, whichever one you want to call me, with a blank spot. So we are back with another tutorial. Uh, as promised, uh, what we're going to do today is we are going to convert or set up our Workforce 7210 uh, as a sublimation printer. Okay. So before you get started um, with, with the setup, right, of course, there's some things that you want to do first, I would say. Uh, you want to make sure that you have your 252 um, Excel cartridges, refillable cartridges. You can get those on our website. Okay. You also want to make sure that um, you have your ink. All right. Um, we also have our ink um, available on our website, the blank spot um, ink, sublimation ink. All right. So you want to make sure that you go ahead and refill uh, or fill your cartridges up with the ink. Okay. I've done this on a previous video. You can search um for that video that's already done all right now what i suggest when you first start uh with uh converting your 7210 workforce printer is you always want to start off with the original cartridges first okay i highly highly recommend this because um you guys know we're not supposed to be using these printers as sublimation printers so you know we have to kind of trick the printer so I always start off with these first and then you're going to do a a um a cartridge um you're gonna do a um you're gonna uh switch the cartridges out all right so first things first when you get your printer it's gonna come in the box okay you're gonna have um the instructions with the cd the cd basically is uh like a manual and also it has the drivers on there but um i'm not gonna use the cd you know a lot of computers don't even come with the the cd drive anymore but um, what we're going to do is in another video, we are going to go on Epson's website to um, install the drivers via their website. So you really don't need the CD, but you may want it just in case. All right. So that's going to come in there. Also, you're going to get um, the actual um, ink cartridges uh, filled with ink. Those are going to come in there. OK, so um, once you get your printer all set up, of course, um, you have to get all this tape off. All right. So you're going to see a bunch of blue tape. So just go ahead and start taking that tape off. Okay, you're going to see some tape in the back. I've already taken the tape off in the back. All right, so all of the blue tape, you want to go ahead and start taking that off. All right, so I'm a, work for, I'm a workforce uh, printer girl. Um, <laughs> I've had my 7720 uh, for about three years. Um, you know, working with it for sublimation, I love it, you know. I know everybody's going to the eco tank, but I love my workforce printers. Um, to me, the colors just, you know, they just pop. All right. So this one is a little bit different from my uh, 7720 because my 7720 has um, touchscreen and this one doesn't. So that may be a little bit of challenge uh, for me. Okay. So, of course, it comes with the power cord. I've already um, hooked my power cord up. All right. So guess what? We're getting ready to get started. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn on the printer. Okay. Now, once you turn it on, um, it's going to ask questions like, is it English? You know, um, let me get, hit OK. It's asking you about the date and the time. So all that stuff you want to go ahead and um, set up. Date format. Let's see. What is this? Seven. And today is the the eighth, okay. And then it is twenty twenty one. All right, okay. And it asks you the format that you want. You want a twelve hour format, and the time it is twelve fifty one um, on Eastern Standard Time. PM. All right. And then once you do that, it's going to say preparing information. Okay. And then now it tells you to go ahead and install the ink cartridges that came with this printer. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and follow their directions right now. Okay. So it actually said install those cartridges, right? So we're gonna we're gonna play along and um, you know, we're gonna follow the instructions. All right, so right here, you're gonna lift this part up, and this is where your actual ink 
cartridges go right in here okay it has a little flip top right there okay you just take and flip that up and as i stated i have already filled my refillable 252 excel cartridges okay but however we're gonna we're gonna follow their directions and we're gonna put in the cartridges that came with the printer first okay because it has memory as i stated before it has memory okay we want to kind of trick the printer okay so <clears throat> i'm gonna go ahead and put the yellow in pull this little tab off see the chip part goes to the front put the yellow in then we're gonna put in the magenta You're going to put in the cayenne or blue. And then we're going to put in black. Okay. <clears throat> put that back down. Then you're going to just close your top. And then it's going to say checking the ink cartridges. So basically what we're doing right now is we're uh we're kind of tricking the printer you know guys like i said you know we're not supposed to be using these for sublimation printers but you know we're we're, we're innovative so <laughs> so it's going through the process right now it actually said it takes about six minutes so um we're gonna give it some time uh to you know let it go ahead and and, and initialate do its thing or initializing and do its thing okay it's, it's just basically telling me do not turn off uh, this this uh, printer because it takes about six minutes, okay? All right, guys, so we are back. Uh, we went through the initialization, initializing process uh, for when we put the original cartridges in uh, that came with the printer, okay? So we're going to continue to play the game. After it's done with that, it's going to ask you about the paper setting, all right? So right now it's saying, okay, cassette number one we're just gonna say okay okay and then it says that um it's ready uh it's talking about the paper calendar we're just kind of going through all of that information okay print information that says uh print on the counter we don't want to do any of that okay so basically you just got to kind of go through um whatever it is that is telling you to set up Okay. All right. I'm going to just go home because I'm, I'm really kind of done with all this stuff right here. It says it's ready to go. Okay. To proceed. Okay. Um, let's see. All right. Okay. Bear with me. Like I said, this one is a little bit different from my 7720 talks about the ink levels we're good with all of that okay all right okay all right so from here so i'm not even going to print a test page or nothing like that so now i'm just going to go in and i'm going to go to my maintenance okay and then i'm going to say cartridge um replacement all right so you go to your settings and it should be under maintenance. And then you're gonna go down till you see ink cartridge replacement. I'm gonna click okay. Okay to proceed. It says open the printer cover. Did that. Once you open the printer cover, it's gonna move the cartridges over <clears throat> so that um, we can replace them. All right. It says replace the ink cartridge. So now I'm going to pull that tab up. I'm going to start taking the original ones out. Okay. And then I'm going to proceed to put the refillable cartridges with my sublimation ink. I'm going to put those in. Remember, the chip part should be at the front.
Okay. All right. And then I'm going to close the cover. Now it's going to say checking the ink cartridges. You most likely are going to get a message that says that this, uh, this, these are not genuine cartridges. Um, don't worry about that. You're just going to continue. It's checking the cartridges right now. It says preparing the ink system. Preparing the ink system. So you really, um, with the other cartridges, you really don't need to to, to print. Um, basically, we just kind of wanted it to, to recognize uh, those original cartridges. You can let it do, a, you know, a nozzle check, but I don't see a need for it. I didn't. I don't remember doing that when I converted my seventy-seven twenty, even though that was some years ago. Um, and you know they may have made a few changes with the 7210 but um guess what we're gonna see today it's still saying preparing the ink system so once we get this all set up um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do one print head cleaning one print head cleaning it is very important not to to do so many print head cleanings on your printer because your printer has uh, what's called a maintenance box and once that and with the maintenance box every time you print something there's um leftover ink that goes into that box okay it, it's deposited into that maintenance box and once that maintenance box is full you have to replace that maintenance box okay but that's that's after like tons and tons of you know of, of prints. If you are if you do a lot of printing, then of course your maintenance box is going to fill up, um, you know, pretty fast. However, you know I've been printing on my seventy seven twenty for almost three years, and I'm 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 just at about half with my maintenance box, half being full. Okay, but when you do the nozzle checks. The nozzle checks really push that pushes that ink into that maintenance box. So that's why you want to kind of prevent doing so many nozzle checks. Um, you know, it, and I'll do a video on this later as far as maintenance wise. But um, if you start to see lines in your in your in your prints, sometimes you have to push air through. Sometimes you even have to do a purge. OK, I would do a purge, um, use a purge file and you can you can actually Google purge file. Um, and the purge file will purge the ink out instead of it going into the maintenance box when you're doing the nozzle checks. All right, guys. So we are back. Took a short break because we were, um, what we did was we went and took out the original cartridges. We put in our refillable cartridges with our sublimation ink. And then it was, um, it was reading the cartridge, right? So now it says that the ink cartridge uh, replacement is complete. Okay. And then it says, uh, okay to proceed. Okay. Click OK. I think I hit OK too many times. OK. OK, so we, yeah, so that's already complete. So I, I don't need to do another, um, another replacement. I hit OK too many times. All right. So we are going to, now it's telling me to check it again. Okay, so it was installed. All right, let me see what's going on here. It's closed, it's checking. Okay. It's checking it again. What happened was I, um, okay, it says it's complete. All right done okay so now what i'm going to do is i am going to do one print head cleaning one print head cleaning okay 
So you just go back to your maintenance and then you're going to um, choose your arrows and you're going to go down to print head clean. I'm going to do one print head clean. Once you get it highlighted, you click OK. All right. Clean the print head. It's asking you yes or no. We're going to say yes. And then it's going to ask you, do you want all colors or do you want just the black or do you want just the colors? We want all colors. OK, so now we're cleaning the print head. And basically. We're doing this just one time. We kind of want to push the uh, push the ink through, okay? Hopefully, this one doesn't take um, as long. So remember, do not do a bunch of print head cleanings on your printer because every time you do the print head cleaning, um, that maintenance box is filling up, all right? Um, as I stated before, if you get any lines or anything like that in your print, um, you may have to push, push the air through, which I'll do another video on how to do that. Um, but I suggest getting you a purge file and just purging, do a purge, um, through the, um, through the print, through the, um, printer. All right, guys. So we are back, uh, converting our workforce 7210 printer. Uh, we have went through the entire process. We put in the original cartridges first, let it do its thing. We came back and we did an ink, ink cartridge replacement. We put in our refillable cartridges that we have our sublimation ink in. It went through its process. Okay. And then we did one print head cleaning, one print head cleaning. Hopefully that will be enough for us to see our lines. Okay. And now that the print head cleaning is done, we are going to do a print nozzle check. The print nozzle check is going to show us if everything is lined up. We're, we're probably going to have to go back and do some um, lining, horizontal, vertical line, um, uh, lining everything up, but we're going to check it out to see, okay? So I'm basically going to um, put some paper in here, which um, remember to take off all the blue tape, okay? I'm going to use this first uh, cartridge, uh, uh, tray right here which is number one okay and i'm just taking off the tape <clears throat> that i did not take off all right so i'm going to put my paper i want to use let's see I'm just putting my paper in here. All right. Well, let me put the top back on. Right. Okay. So it asked me that I want to do a point head check, a nozzle check. I'm going to say, okay. All right. And. Okay. Okay. So now it's going to go ahead and print the nozzle check. Hopefully it picks up paper in number one all right it's saying that the paper is out so i probably need to put more paper in here <laughs> i only put a couple sheets or one sheet so let me try that again actually put that back on it's just a little dust straight okay let's try this again so my other printer is a little bit different, as I stated, um, than this one, but we're good to go. So I only put one piece of paper in there, put more than one. All right. So, all right. So as you can see, it printed out, but I do see, I do see some lines, lines in, in my red. Okay. I do see some lines in my red. So I'm going to do one more nozzle check. Not nozzle check. I'm gonna do one more print head cleaning to see if that will kind of clean that up a little bit. If it doesn't clean that up, then I'll just do a purge, and then you guys will see a video on how to do that. But look at the black. The black is ready to go. The yellow is ready to go. Let's see if you guys can see that. The yellow is ready to go. Okay, and then the blue is ready to go as well. It's just the red or the magenta right there. Okay, so we're gonna do one more. Print head cleaning. 
Remember, don't do a whole lot of printhead cleaning. We're just going to do one. And if it doesn't clear it up too much, um, we're just going to do a purge and then maybe push some ink, which will be in another video. But look, guys, we're printing. We're, we're pretty much ready to go. All right, so I'm going to go back in. And, okay, clean the printhead. We're going to say yes. Uh, um, it's asking me, do I want all colors? I'm going to say all except for black this time, okay? All right, so it's, it's clean the print head. All right, and while it's doing that, but we have some more paper in there already, but it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. As you can see, it doesn't take a whole lot to convert these, these printers. Um, it's just, you know, it could be a little bit of, a little bit time consuming and you have to make sure that you follow the you know directions that you know you get um i highly highly recommend that um you use you start with the original cartridges first before you put in your refillable cartridges all right so <clears throat> we are cleaning 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 like i said we're just trying to see if we can get that uh that magenta uh, to straighten out a little bit. If not, then we're not going to worry about doing any more printhead cleanings. Uh, we're just going to do a purge, and that'll be um, on another video. So I hope you guys out there uh, seeing this at a later time. I hope you're having a great day, great night, whatever time uh, you're watching this at. It's still cleaning. Sometimes this could uh, take a little while um, to clean. So just bear with me. In the next video, I will show you guys how to, of course, uh, get the drivers uh, for your computer. And, um, you know, some um, just some steps on, you know, the best settings to use uh, when you're printing. Okay. Then I also do a video on um, how to push air through and um, how to do a purge. All right. So stay tuned for that. But it actually, you know, to say that we just um, print it one time, it, it actually looks pretty good. I've seen to where um, people were trying to convert these printers and they go to print and it's blank. There's nothing there. Um, right now, all we're worried about um, is the magenta. We're just worried about the magenta right now, which is not that big of a deal because it's really only um, on one side. Like I said, also, you may have to go in and you may have to do some aligning. Um, that'll be um, good to do when you first um, set up your printer. You're going to set up your vertical, horizontal aligning. All right. It says that the printhead cleaning is complete. I'm going to click OK. It says, do you want to print a nozzle check? We're going to go ahead and say yes. All right. So let's see what we get this time. <clears throat> like I said, if it doesn't clear up um, like we wanted to, um, we are going to do a purge. We're not going to do any more cleanings, okay? All right, so it's saying that my paper is out, which I know it's not. Okay, so I'll try this again. Okay. Still saying my paper's out. Let me see what's going on here. this again. Okay, I think we're good to go now. <clears throat> All right, so it did not clear up like I wanted it to, 
Uh, but I'm not going to do another print head cleaning. I am going to do a purge and I'm going to push the air through. Okay. All right. So um, it's printing. We just got to get um, get our magenta going. And um, basically, you just got to push the air through um, on that. Do not do a bunch of print head cleaners. I cannot stress that enough. Okay. Do a purge file and that is going to push the ink through. And after you do a purge file, then you go back and do a nozzle check. All right. So basically, that is it, guys. Um, this is Dorothy or D here, and I've been setting up my Workforce 7210 printer. Okay, so I went through the entire steps. Um, uh, tip, make sure that you use the original cartridges first, okay, before you um, put in the refillable cartridges, all right? So this is Dorothy with the blank spot. We are located at 9332 Nodge Road, uh, Sweet C, Columbia, South Carolina. And uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure that you like um, our Facebook page, uh, follow us on Instagram, even TikTok, all right? And that's all we have today. Look out for the next video. Okay, coming up next, we're going to show you how to um, set up your Wi-Fi and get the drivers uh, for your uh, printer. And then we're going to do some settings to show you uh, some best ways uh, to print your print settings, all right? I'll talk to you later.